The first level in Geometry Dash is Stereo Madness, the most famous level in the entire game even though not being very special. A couple people wanted to change that and decided to make some really odd versions of this level. In this video, I'll talk about some of these that stood out to me and will rank them based on the ones I found the least odd to the oddest, judging them with this temperature bar right here. Enjoy! You probably have heard about troll levels before. They are mentioned in a lot of famous videos on YouTube and Stereo Madness couldn't escape this huge troll trend. Editor Madness though is a troll level with a twist since it has a small story. It's basically Stereo Madness but the editor itself is trying to kill you with a lot and I mean a lot of trolls. Suspicious Madness is, like you might have guessed, very suspicious. The whole level revolves around Among Us and at certain parts in the level the creator cries for help since he can't unsee the Among Us crewmates. Instead of very suspicious, let's go to very spooky. There are more than 740 levels that are named Lost Madness, a scary-ish version of Stereo Madness. However, one was pretty different from the rest. This one, made by user 4Token. It starts off very normal, just like the regular version of Stereo Madness. But after 25%, this changes and some mildly creepy images come on screen, with odd gameplay that's shown. Okay, now that I've talked about these three Stereo Madness versions, let's slowly dive into the more interesting Stereo Madness versions that I found. Some of which you guys have definitely never seen before. Geometry Dash originally is a 2D game, but in the editor of the game there is a small section with three dimensional objects. With these objects, Geometry Dash 3D was made, and it looks pretty cool. Even back in our childhood, Stereo Madness has always existed in our hearts. Since when the game released, the level already was a main level. It looked a tiny bit different though. Everything in it was the same except for the lost coin route. And this coin route was a tiny bit buffed in comparison with the coin route we have known for a long time. So technically, this also was a different version of Stereo Madness. Stereo Madness 100k is exactly what it looks like. Stereo Madness with 100,000... Spikes. There legitimately are 100,000 spikes in this level, and not only did the object count significantly improve, the difficulty did too, as you can see. The following Stereo Madness is exactly the same as the original. The gameplay, the colors, and even the object count. The icon, however, is a little different. This version of Stereo Madness is called GigaChat Madness, and you can probably see why now. But let's move on to something truly sad. Once upon a time, a level was created that was called Dark Stereo Madness, and the creator was so proud of it that he uploaded it on Reddit. It was just a dark version of Stereo Madness, but it garnered a lot of attention because of a singular spelling mistake. Because of this, it became a pretty huge meme in the community, and lots of people did some weird stuff on this level. Buffus GD is a YouTuber with a large brain capacity, so with his brain capacity, he once got the idea to recreate Stereo Madness from just his memory alone. The end result was definitely a little different from the original, but you can see that it at least resembles the level. In any game, you can install hacks, just like in GD. The most famous hack is named MegaHack V7, with more than 100 different types of hacks, one of them being the Skill Bypass hack. This allows you to make an object as small or as large as you want, and this was first tested on the first main level, you guessed it, Stereo Madness. This is Miniature Madness, the smallest version of the level that's available on the servers. Also, you can play Jump Trash on other platforms, and this describes our 10th Stereo Madness version perfectly. Geometradash.io is the most famous knockoff version of Geometry Dash, and the level Stereo Madness is a lot harder here. The most famous Stereo Madness version that I can't leave out of this list, of course, is Stereo Extremeness. This extremely buffed version of Stereo Madness has actually been beaten by someone already. Someone called Esoteric Hydra beat it within 7,500 attempts, and enjoyed it a lot as you can see. The next Stereo Madness version is very different from all the entries so far, since like some, it's the exact same as the normal Stereo Madness. Except that there are flashes of famous extreme demons that randomly pop up, some of the hardest levels ever made. And just before you have to pass these extreme demon obstacles, you go back to Stereo Madness again. Stereo Madness 2, a level made a couple years ago with the level being a slightly more decorated version of the original one. However, let's go back to a couple months earlier and open the level of Stereo Madness 3. It is the exact same, but somehow both Stereo Madness 2 and 3 got rated, even though being the exact same. Something definitely is off here. With the length of 89 seconds, Stereo Madness is one of the longest main levels in the game. User Taint found this too short and decided to be like, hey, why not make this one and a half hour long? 
Stereo Madness 1 Hour is the longest Stereo Madness version I've ever seen, and it hasn't been beaten yet. A similar version is Stereo Madness XXXL by a gaming user, but instead of it just being Stereo Madness a lot of times, it has been slowed down more than 10 times to make it even more boring. As an alternative to these ginormous numbers, there also is one entry that has some very small numbers belonging to the level. After a lot of tries, the tiniest click limit had been reached on Stereo Madness. It was doable in 23 clicks, with some very hard tricks that you had to pull off. For this reason, a specific level was made where you had to click exactly 23 times, or you would die and restart all the way from the beginning. Another useless Stereo Madness version is one with, listen to this, 400,000 objects. For some odd reason, this is completely broken, with portals being gone and the whole level just looking like a complete and utter mess. We all know update 2.2 isn't out yet, but some creational masterminds figured out a way to add some of these 2.2 features in the current version of the game. They also created the level Stereo Menace 2.2, where the whole level got changed into a way grazier Stereo Menace with newer features. But all these Stereo Menaces I've talked about so far don't even come close to the rest of the next versions I'll talk about. For example, the level VSC Madness, a level that starts with the current hardest challenge ever beaten, after which you need to casually beat the level Stereo Madness. Even grazier is the fact that this actually has been beaten. But let's forget about the whole jump thrash game for a while and move on to Minecraft. Except there are no levels in there or anything, right, Webu? Well, kind of, since Tomek D recreated the entire level in Minecraft, with every jump being exactly the same and still being possible to beat. The most naughty version of Stereo Madness I've seen, though, is the normal version of Stereo Madness converted into a possible version on a graphing calculator. A freaking calculator. I'm not sure how this is possible, but I guess it is. I hope you guys enjoyed, and good.